Hi, and thanks for watching. In this video, I, I will show you how to create a custom function in Microsoft Excel to auto-populate latitude and longitude coordinates. Now, the, the function itself, or the code of the function, was written by a gentleman by the name of Christos Samaras. And I had initially recorded a tutorial a few years back, and due to some changes to Google's API, uh, Mr. Samaras has updated the code, and so I thought it was time to update this tutorial. So let's get started. The first step is you'll want to open your Excel workbook where you intend to add this function. And within this workbook, you'll want to go to the Developer ribbon. Now, if you don't have access to this Developer ribbon, go to File, Options. Along the left here, Customize Ribbon. And then along the right, you'll want to make sure this Developer checkbox is checked. Hit OK. Come to Developer within the ribbon. Go to Visual Basic. You can also hit Alt F11 on a, uh, on a PC. And it opens up the Visual Basic dialog box. Within here, we will then insert a module. And it's within this module where we'll drop the code. Now to find the code, uh, within the uh, description of the video, if you're on YouTube or if you're on our blog, uh, you'll come down and you'll find uh, first a link to Mr. Samaras' uh, blog post where he writes or where he kind of uh, talks through uh, this particular code. And here you see the code itself. I also, for ease, uh, included a text file, just a simple text file with the code itself. And so what you'll do is you can either on his uh, blog or within this text file, grab this code, make sure that you copy all of it from option explicit all the way down to end function. Select all of that, right click, copy. With the code copied, we'll return to our workbook within Visual Basic and in the right hand side here, uh, where there's just this empty space, you'll right click and paste. Now we've pasted the code into our module. What I suggest next is to read his instructions. That's in this green font. And you'll find here contact in information for Mr. Samaras, a link to his blog, and, the, and then a few other steps we need to complete in order to finish this function. So the next step is we need to enable the Microsoft XML version 3.0 reference. To do that, within our Visual Basic box, come up to Tools, References, and then here, these are our available references. I have four checked. We need to check the Microsoft XML version 3.0, which is right there. Check that, hit OK. And now we continue. As of 2018, he updated the code to require now an API key from Google. Now Google uh, gives these API keys out for free, and essentially they are a license to use their, uh, their API. Okay. Uh, in this particular case, it accesses Google Maps, converts the address to lat latitude and longitude. That's done on Google's end, and then they send back the latitude and longitude based on the address that we sent them. And that uh, process you can do on one API key 2,500 times a day for free. If you need to pull more than 2,500 in a day, uh, Google has premium plans to allow for that to happen. Now to get your API key, uh, Mr. Samaras has a tutorial here, uh, but it's, it's pretty simple. Essentially, come back to your browser, uh, type in, uh, go to Google, and you'll just search get geocoding API key. And right here, the very f top, or, or type get Google geocoding API key, but regardless, the, the top result here is where you want to be. Now, I'm going to log in with a different account. So here you're on this page. Make sure you're logged in. If you're not, there'll be a sign in button here in the upper right hand corner to log into your Google account. And within that, just hit get a key. You, If this is the very first time you're getting a key, you'll need to hit a little yes button to agree to Google's terms. And then either create a new project or within an existing project, but I'll create a new project. I'm going to call this Cell at long two, hit next, and it's grabbing you a API key. It takes a minute. 
And there it is. I'm just going to go ahead and copy this. You can either hit this button here, or we can actually select it, do a copy, done, return to our workbook. And within the code itself, right here, you'll see he has API key equals quotation marks. Within these quotation marks, where it says your API key goes here, exclamation point, override that with the key itself. And with that done, the last step is pretty simple. We just now need to close out your uh, VBA, come to file, and you're just gonna save this workbook as a macro-enabled workbook. So choose a location, change the name, and then save as type macro-enabled workbook. Hit save, and now the function uh, should work. Now to test it, you will need an address in a cell in this format, address, comma, city, state, zip code. And then just type in get latitude. We'll pull the latitude from that address. Okay, it worked. Get longitude. Well, let's pull the longitude from that address. That worked. There's also get coordinates from that address. Worked, fantastic. The function's working. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, but that is auto-populating latitude and longitude in Excel. Thanks for your time.